this short video um, will hopefully go some way to show how to remove the pivot suspension bars on a Hawk 20 centre plate. As you can see there are two sides to the pivot pin. There is one here with uh, just a small pin. We'll go to the other side. This one here, this is the one with the supposedly an Allen key uh, fitting but this one is corroded so it's completely rounded off. After talking to uh, Peter Reed at Reed Marine um, he's given me some hints on uh, how to remove this. Right, let's get to it. Uh, the strap which is on the side with no Allen key Apparently this will just unscrew from here. So holding the one, holding the banding strap that's on the opposite side, so the, hold the one with the Allen key, simply untwist this one. There we go, that comes off. And you should notice that there's a bit of a thread on this bar here. Now it's not exactly very clear but there are two bearings here an inner and an outer the inner one appears to be black the outer one appears to be clear now the next job is to knock this pin out through the other side now to knock this pin out I've set it um, down flat um, and I'm resting it on a couple of old tires I have in the drive Right, rather than just whacking the end of this with a, a mallet, I'm going to try and protect the pin because you never know, I might be able to reuse it. Probably not. I'm going to try and whack it with a bit of wood first. Sounds very solid. I'm not sure whether that's moving at all. No, nope, all I'm doing is destroying a bit of wood. Um, I need a heavier bit of wood. Okay. A better bit of wood, a bit of oak this time rather than a bit of bloody um, pine. No, nope, all I was doing is denting the wood. Right, okay, plan B, which uh, according to Mr. Reed, is to use a 19mm socket and then wrap it. Yep, that's definitely moving. Make sure it's still able to move. And go and there we see the inside of the pivot there we go so center board can go off to get the, uh, the bit the repairman finished right the center board can now go off to get this bit of the center board um, re-epoxied ready for hanging in the new season um, I shall probably have to buy a new swivel, etc. Now, according to Peter Reed, that is um, 80 quid. It seems quite a lot, so I shall see if I can at least maybe reuse that. But I may just say sod it. Um, 80 quid over what five years? Maybe 16 quid a year. Not not a problem. Do that. Now, to save some money, um, rather than buying everything, we're probably just going to have to buy the um, the bushing 
and the bolt again. So we're going to try and remove this from this strap without um, damaging it. Okay, so talking to um, Reed Marine again, he says you should just be able to um, support around here and whack here and then that should come out of the bushing and the bushing will be able to come clear. Now I'm going to use a vise and a large socket and then hopefully that'll work. Yep, one whack and it's already coming proud. Take that. Okay. Right, we're probably going to need a um, some sort of push rod on top of here. Okay, small socket extension bar. So it's coming out. There we go. Unfortunately that bush has got a crack in it. And you can probably see there's the smallest thread on there which of course I've now beaten to within an inch of its life. So um, yep, going to have to buy a new one. There, top of the strap or the bottom of the strap as it is. On mine, it's got quite a bit of pitting here and further up here. Now, this is taking stress load obviously down this way, um, so there's not much uh, bending force on it, which would be a major concern for these holes here. Now, it all depends on whether your straps are good quality or not and whether you can get replacements. Okay.